Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2020 Challenger RT. This is a clean title car. It's got 17,000 miles on it. It is an RT trim. And then it's uh, one of 70. It's number 67 out of 70 in the RT trim level 50th anniversary uh, package. And then on top of that, it's a limited edition package, which gives you the shaker hood. Um, the wheels are Hemi wheels that are customer put on. That stripe is a stripe he designed and had put on for him. Um, it's gold rush paint, so I think if I if I understand it correctly, and I'm not, I don't know as much about Dodge as some of the other stuff. Um, I think in the limited edition, uh, the 50th anniversary stuff, there was 13 paint options, and one of them was um, gold rush. We've not seen a lot of them. Um, there's only a couple of them, I think, now of this year for sale. The RT is the V8, so that's a 5.7 liter V8. Uh, the 392 and Scat Pack is a 5. Point uh, or I, I'm sorry, 6.2 or 6.4, and then the Hellcat is a 6.2, so it's more displacement, better boost. So we want at least a V8, uh, the 5.7, uh, in any of the Dodge um, muscle stuff, just because that's well, that's what sounds good, and that's we believe how they were designed. And uh, this is nice. So the 50th anniversary gives you a bunch of uh, optional equipment and then access to different paint. The 50 you're gonna see uh, in a number of places, that is the 50th anniversary, and they put they did 70 of each trim. So they did like 70 scat packs, 70 RTs, and those were uh, either built or uh, built to order. Either they were delivered to the factory or the dealerships, or they were custom ordered. We like the Gold Rush because the paint is hard to find, as I said, and most of the limited edition paints are gonna be throwbacks to the muscle car generation. So another thing our customer did was, he changed the badging around. This is how the badging would have been back in the uh, 60s, 70s, as, um, so he swapped those out from the Hemi to the Challenger. There's not a mark on it, has not been driven in the rain, so it's really, really clean. There's another example of the, uh, the 50. See the shaker hood. It has a sunroof, which is uncommon. Oh, it's, uh, so the, it's, it shows damage on the Carfax. There was a, a PDR, uh, which is, means there was no paint damage, but the body, was, the body panel was pushed in. Our customer had that repaired, so there's been no paint work that was just pulled out. It was claimed on insurance, but the money wasn't used, so that's why it's on the Carfax but no body or paint work done. And I, we have a picture of that before it was repaired uh, on our website if you have questions, and we'd be glad to talk to you uh, about it in more detail if that's something you want. So the button here is uh, passive entry, if you're not familiar with those, so keyless entry, passive entry, so you can lock and unlock your door if your key is on your person. So door trim, seat with Alcantara inserts. Again, you've got a 50 there for the 50th anniversary addition. Back seats are in perfect shape, which is not going to surprise anybody. Probably not a lot of people lying back there. Uh, passenger side door is clean. Uh, passenger side seat is clean. So the um, the 50th, this is a got a couple things on it. It is a 50th anniversary package, and then there's a limited edition package, which gives you the shaker hood. That's super nice addition, so push button start. Uh, that looks like faux carbon fiber interior trim. I'm going to turn the lights on so you can see the dash. So, manual mode, standard mode, climate control, and your touchscreen interface. We really like the, um, the interface for uh, Dodge products. This is a really simple system. A lot of the touchscreen stuff now is annoying and um, too layered uh, to be user-friendly in my opinion. So you have climate control, it's gonna be seats, climate control, you have seats, so heated, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, your apps, so a menu basically, it, this is access to performance, you have, do have launch control on this car, uh, and then you also have, um, uh, I can't, there's a track, um, uh, there's, uh, I'm not gonna be able to think of it now. Um, try, uh, I apologize for that. It's totally out of my. It's a. It's a. It's on the window sticker. Um, so all this other stuff. So it's touch screen down here. You've got you got two dots. That means you've got a screen to the right if you want to access it. So navigation, Bluetooth, audio control, back here, Wi-Fi, 
navigation. Again, it's very responsive, super easy to use. A lot of platforms you're gonna have delays, you're gonna have um, times that stuff is gonna blank or it won't respond to the touch. This is a very easy interface. Uh, you have a multi-function steering wheel, you have an upshift um, on the right, which is a paddle shifter, you have a downshift on the left. Over here is Bluetooth activation, voice activation, uh, your onboard computer stuff. Over here is cruise. Uh, we do have books um, that are in the glove box. We have one master key. Uh, you have three buttons up here that are programmable for security gates and garage door openers. That's typically called home link. Uh, there's an, another example of a Challenger 50 badge. Um, 17,832 miles. The car doesn't need anything. It's got a full tank of gas. Um, again, it's not been driven in the rain to this point. Um, we had to wait for a dry day for our customer to bring it over, which we did, and then pulled it right in and have parked it. We'll stay inside uh, after that. So anyways, we can finance it through Cuddle. We can put an extended warranty on it out until 100,000 miles. We welcome trades. I'd be glad to answer any questions about the Carfax stuff uh, or the car itself. Uh, and you can be in touch with us at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.